precursors. They might have been viewed as precursors, had their line not ended quite so abruptly. Their culture could possibly have evolved into more than a simple, greedy self-destruction. Maybe their fossils would have been enshrined in chapels, museums, and laboratories. Looking at their petrified remains might have even inspired great awe and wonder in little ones. Their lifestyle in an ancient era would have been a lesson to their grateful descendants. Emergence from a rough and tumble past might have resulted later in a state of grace. Their patchwork history and tattered legends could have easily anchored great cultures. Viewed as ancestors, their violent habits would have been seen in a totally different light. They might have passed on valuable lessons from out of a vast sea of ancient experience. Perhaps distant progeny would have honored them and sought out their blessings. It might have been possible that they formed the stem of a still flowering species tree. Their DNA could have contributed to something beyond their short, harsh, and angry tale. Had their seed carried on, their venal struggles might not now appear so foolish and so vain. Were they not evolutionary dead ends, their violence and waste might possibly make sense. Without wantonly destroying their supporting environment, they could have carried on for a while. Possibly, if they did not extinguish so many other species, they could have even loved one another. Outcomes may have differed if their myths had endowed everlasting souls to all living things. Couldn't have survived had they not granted themselves exclusive domain over their entire one planet. Maybe their self-granted commandment to be fruitful resulted in their toxic overpopulation. Certainly the warfare demanded by their many one true gods contributed to their demise. They might not have shambled off into early oblivion had they escaped their own social Darwinism. If they could have appreciated their inheritance, they might have planned for their legacy. Perhaps not basing their economy on short-sighted greed would have led to more success. Finally taking action only after they had collapsed their ecosystem was not a viable survival strategy. Maybe not gauging their progress solely upon extractive consumption would have helped. Trusting in Ponzi perpetual growth instead of a steady state probably aided their demise. Their never begotten offspring might not have disdained their elders as irrelevant fools as they did. Had they the sense not to bring on a mass extinction, things might have been very different. Perhaps their urge to killing did not serve them as self-appointed stewards of the earth. Maybe market solutions were not appropriate for blindly solving all of their world's problems. Basing price on demand did not ensure the long-term availability of any of their finite resources. Placing their bloated population's marketed needs before the one planet that sustained them failed them. They might have explored the universe had they not destroyed their own spaceship Earth. In the end, their perpetual and expensive warfare did not confer to them any survival advantages. If they had not always followed monomaniacal will-to-power freaks, they might still exist. But instead, they are rightly the precursors to nothing and the ancestors to no living beings.